Do you use Zoom? Do you use Zoom on your mobile? In this video, you're going to learn the different buttons, the most common buttons and options that you can use on Zoom using the Zoom mobile app. Okay, so when you click on the Zoom app, you can be logged in or you can be not logged in. I'm actually already logged in here. You've got your options on your meetings one. So this is to, uh, to start a new meeting. And so that's nice and easy. Start a meeting and then you're going. Very, very easy. If you want to join a meeting, that's probably the most common one for uh, using the Zoom on mobile is to join somebody else's meeting. And you can certainly do that as well. You click on join meeting and it's going to ask you for the meeting ID or maybe somebody has texted you or emailed a link to you. And you've got your option here, don't connect to audio, down the bottom here. And if you want to just not have the audio, that's fine as well. Of course, you won't be hearing anything. <laughs> now, that's a different thing from uh, muting yourself, which we'll speak about in a minute. So if you want to schedule a meeting, you can specify the meeting description here, what time it starts, how long it goes for, and what your time zone is, so that Zoom will translate it if you're speaking to somebody in a different time zone. The share screen option is if you want to start a meeting or join a meeting by sharing your screen. Probably not something that you would do so often. You're more likely to be in a meeting and then start sharing. But let us start a meeting right now. And I'm going into new meeting, hitting that orange button on the top left and I'm going to start a meeting with the video on. I can have the video off. In fact, I'm going to turn off my video right now. So if I click towards the bottom, all of those options come up and we're going to speak about them in a minute. The first thing I want to do is stop my video. So when you do that, your profile picture will come up if you have got one. I'm going to mute myself now and when you mute, you can see that the microphone has got a red line going through it and that also shows even when the, when this bar of options disappears but it reminds you that you are muted and if you want to unmute yourself then there is that option there you just click unmute and that means people can hear you once you're muted nobody can unmute you not the meeting organizer all they can do is ask permission for you to unmute yourself. Okay, now participants just tells us who is in the meeting, and here is a good chance if you wanted to invite somebody, you click on that invite button there on the bottom left. I'll cancel that. If you want to chat with somebody, you can chat with everyone in the meeting, or you can select individual people that you want to chat with and you can see your chat messages and any anyone who you chat with can see your those messages that you have shared with them but other people in the meeting can't see it can't see the chat very often the chat will be depends on the size of the meeting but very often the chat will be uh, uh, to everyone else in the meeting now you can also share reactions you can raise your hand and when you do that you'll see that's a message to others in the meeting that you have got a question or you want to say something and you can lower your hand there. And there are other typical emoji reactions that you can throw in. This one here with the blue is one I particularly like, which says, speed up, <laughs> hurry up, move things along. But you've got plenty of other emoji reactions if you want. Scroll to the right. Here's where you can also share your screen. And in doing that, you've got a few different options. You can share your screen, that is your mobile screen. You can share a photo, and you've also got other options which are cloud-based storage that you might like to share if you're connected to uh, Microsoft SharePoint or OneDrive or Dropbox, whatever, okay? And you can even share a website URL. So that's a good way of knowing how to share things for others to see in your meeting. Now, captions is an interesting one. So if you're finding it 
a little bit hard to follow somebody or you just like to read rather than listen for various reasons, you can show your captions and they will probably do a pretty good job at documenting what is said. Okay, and there are some options there for the host to control the captions. Whiteboards, I'm not sure that you're going to use whiteboards, but I'll show you how. So I, I might like to, to draw something here, or I can write the word draw, and you can do squiggles and all of this sort of stuff. Depends on just how good you are with the, with the phone and with using your finger. And But having the whiteboard is there and you can share that with others in the meeting as well. You can make a copy of it. Uh, and you can email it out to to others if you want. So I've just come to the front screen. I'm going to go back to the meeting now. And there I am in the meeting. And notes is a way of you capturing your own notes. And you can, once again, share them with others. And others can take notes as well. I'm not sure how much that is actually used within Zoom meetings, but it's definitely an option. Now... This meeting, I have started the meeting myself, and so I can either end the meeting, which ends it for everybody, or I can drop, drop out and pass it on to somebody else, make somebody else the host. But in fact, I'm going to end the meeting. So I'm not just going to leave the meeting, I'm going to end the meeting for all. If I leave the meeting, I'm the last one in the meeting anyway, so it's going to end the meeting anyway. So I'm going to click end meeting for all. So a few different options for using Zoom on mobile. It can be uh, probably more helpful for shorter meetings uh, or for shorter, shorter calls. I'm not sure that mobile is really that easy to use in terms of uh, longer business meetings. If you use Zoom on mobile, let me know in the comments. Do you use it on mobile or would you rather use Zoom on desktop, on laptop or on a PC.